So here in Revit 2020, I can activate my wall tool. And now here in my draw window, I've got the addition of ellipse or partial ellipse. This works a lot like either placing a circle or placing an arc. So if I activate the ellipse tool, I've got my wall type selected. I can give it the height. I can draw by wall center line. There's nothing different here about placing all of my other walls. And when I come down here with the full ellipse, I'm going to click to place the center first. Then I give it one of my axes. And I'm going to give it another axis. So there we go. And here it is over in my 3D view. That's a wall. It's an ellipse. It, it works about like you would expect it to work. And kind of like with the uh, placing full circles as well, this is actually kind of broken up into two partial ellipses. So once it's placed, it's got its own axis and its own radius on either side. So if I drag this up, I'm actually only dragging one half of it. So I get a bit of this, uh, this egg thing going on here. Um, placing a partial ellipse works uh, very similarly to placing kind of an arc. I'm activate partial ellipse. You're going to give it it's based more on a three point system rather than kind of a center system. So I'm going to do the first point. I'm going to do the end point, And then you'll see I'm placing where that radius is just by visually um, identifying. And obviously things are going to mention. Um, yeah, it, it's a wall. It's a wall. You're placing by lips works exactly like you would hope it would kind of like as we're placing arcs. If I am using a curtain wall and there is no predefined grid system in there, uh, I'm going to be placing this, come over here in outer space a little bit. And here's one axis. And you see it's kind of snappy and it's not exactly filling out there. But once I place it, really all I've got at this point are just two giant flat uh, panels. So I've got to come back in here, break up my grid lines, and then this curtain wall will start following along the, the segment and the ellipse that I've defined. If I change this just to a curtain wall type that has the panels built in, then it already knows the distances between my grids. It knows how to break it up and put my mullions on. It's going to do its best to follow that ellipse shape from there. So nice new addition. We've been asking for this for, for a while, and it's it's great to have it finally. And, and like I said, it pretty much works exactly the way you would expect it to work. And, and it should be a great way to help kind of give you that extra bump to a little more complicated design work.